friends look at these words on the board tell me which of these words express your best qualities i am intelligent young and hard working i am healthy strong and good i am creative kind and funny that's great friends now tell me which of these words you don't want to be used to refer to you lazy foolish low weak selfish greedy all right now that we have seen how these words can be used can you tell me what do they all have in common teacher they are all used to describe people correct and these words are called adjectives so today we shall learn about adjectives adjectives are used to modify a noun and give us more information about it adjectives are also those words that indicate the quantity of a noun let us learn about them in more detail the most common understanding of an adjective is when it describes the quality of a noun as in the exercise we just did this kind of adjective is called an adjective of quality here are some examples of these kinds of adjectives a this is a small kitten b mumbai is a beautiful city c these are good students here small is a quality of the kitten beautiful is a quality of the city and good is the quality possessed by the students another common use of adjectives is to describe quantity these adjectives show how much of a given noun is being referred to some examples are a he has a little money b he drank lots of water c i want to eat some food here the words little lots and some tell us the quantity of the nouns money water and food respectively similar to adjectives of quantity there are adjectives of number which are also called numeral adjectives that indicates exactly how many of a given nouns are being referred to or the order of position of the noun there are three types of adjectives of number namely definite indefinite and distributive the definite adjective of number can be either cardinal or ordinal numbers in the sentence i ate two bananas the word two describes the number of bananas it is a cardinal number that is a definite adjective of number in the sentence i live on the fourth floor of this building the word fourth denotes the order of position of the floor in order to describe it this is a cardinal number that is also a definite adjective of number indefinite adjectives of number do not refer to an exact number but rather to an approximate amount so in sentences such as all the boys were excited or the school won lots of prizes or some currency notes were torn the words all lots and some are the adjectives that give information about the boys prizes and currency notes respectively you may notice that the indefinite adjectives of number are the same as the adjectives of quantity the difference in the two types lies in the kinds of nouns they modify adjective of quantity modify uncountable noun and indefinite adjectives of number modify countable nouns the third of the adjective of number is the distributive it is used to refer to 
individual nouns within the whole amount. Examples of this kind of adjective include each, every, either and neither. This is how you can use them in a sentence. Each student was given a chocolate. Every member of the audience clapped loudly. We can make an appointment on either Tuesday or Wednesday. Neither she nor I knew what to do. The next type of adjective is the demonstrative adjective. It is usually used to point out a specific person or thing. There are four demonstrative adjectives. This, that, these and those. And they are used to also give information about the number and proximity of the modified noun to the speaker. Example, A. Those criminals must be hanged. B. This box is heavy. C. These seeds are to be sown. This indicates singular and nearby. That indicates singular and far away. These indicates plural and nearby. And those indicates plural and far away. This is how they work. This house. That house. These houses. Those houses. Finally, we come to interrogative adjectives. These adjectives are which, what and whose. They are used to ask questions and they are considered to be adjectives when they are used to ask questions about a noun. Whose book is this? Is a sentence that is requesting information about a book using the interrogative word whose, which makes the interrogative word an adjective. In the sentence, which team won the game? The word which performs a similar function, that is, it asks for more information about the noun, team. And it is the same in the sentence. What is the name of our president? It is easy enough to identify an adjective by the way it is used in a sentence. However, there is no general rule in English to form adjectives. But we can use suffixes to create adjectives from nouns and verbs. Here is a list of some commonly used suffixes that help in the formation of adjectives. 1. Beauty Full Beautiful 2. Fear, less, fearless. 3. Black, ish, blackish. 4. Trouble, some, troublesome. 5. Pardon, able, pardonable. 6. Courage, us, courageous. 7. Talk, I've, talkative. 8. Gold, N, golden. 9. Man, Lee, manly. 10. Gift, Ed, gifted. 11. Coward, Is, cowardice. Joyous be your learning friends.